people with the spirit of learning so in this topic we're gonna talk about the image or we call it like image view with the uh, drawable so basically i have been downloading those uh a sample of the logo or icons that we're gonna use it in our project so make sure that you have to visit flaticon.com because they do provide a lot of icons and we are able to use them in our project so then right now uh, as you can see that i have to type which is a png and then svg and right now before we getting started i'm gonna tell you that uh if you're naming your file you can't use like this like this so maybe you probably just use the underscore okay so remove the dash and use the underscore because it's pretty uh important and in this case i got maybe this is for the svg uh sorry guys it has to be svg and this is the png okay so basically what is the different angle so whenever you use the svg you could just convert it from the android studio so let me show you how it works so first of all we're gonna start with a simple one this is the png we're gonna copy them just copy and then go to your android studio and find a drawable and i have just simply copy and paste over there okay now we got the png here right but if you do have the svg it's gonna be a bit different about how do you approach them in the android studio so basically we just need to click and then uh, image assets okay so in this case this is for the icon right like this so basically we have to choose which is the uh, vector assets okay and you can just uh, from you know like the default of the android studio that we, that they provide for us but uh, you know if we are still able to import our uh, our svgs and psds so over here we're gonna to uh, we're gonna try to find it this one svg okay and then i'm going to give them ac love svg that's it yeah and then just next and then finish okay so the difference is you still able to change the color it's a uh, more easier but if you do have the png you're not able to change the color because it's already being the final product right so if you do have the svg you're still able to change the color like you know over here maybe i just want to make it blue even it doesn't any make sense for us but yeah it's nice okay I, I get another blue here okay i'm going just simply copy the hex code like this okay and then i put over here okay just like that right and for this pink color i think i can just go with the same color of blue okay like that so this is pretty nice isn't it because if you do the if you do have the svg you just need to change them directly from the android studio and right now in this text view that we just want to remove them and then change it to the image view so in this image view you are able to use any context like maybe you know uh uh 200 dp and then 200 dp all right and over here just source which is the love message png so this is the love message png so whenever you zoom on it you're gonna see there is the low resolution but if you do use the svg i think you're not going to get the low resolution because you know it's like svg okay so we want to prove it that svg is still real okay so right now that uh, i'm going to give the uh the size and then the margin so over here that we have to go to a design 
and then we have also to move it give the parent right and then give the parent left and then give the parent top okay and for this we give the parent bottom from this logo okay what is this oh so first of all you have to delete this one because it's still being used from the previous design so we have to uh, move this right now just like that and then move like this okay okay we give okay i think that we're not able to give the the margin so i think i just give uh, let me just remove this okay and then oh sorry we can just undo and then give the margin top okay and now it's being like this okay amazing right so whenever you do test in the emulator you're gonna see the real of the product that we were have been, that we were designing for so if you are testing on the emulator you're gonna see there is error because the p is uh the p has the uh the capitalize so we have to refactor them like rename just make it p like this with the underscore and then refactor so whenever you do the refactor the design or the file of the name of file is gonna be changed all the pages or of all the activity okay so we're gonna test again in the emulator right now so here is this our end result of the is image view but basically there is a lot of things that we can do just with the image view but maybe we're gonna uh, learn it by in the next video so right now thank you very much and do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel i'll see you in the next episode so bye bye